Good morning or afternoon or whatever it is for you. And welcome back to uh, adventures in building a high performance house by yourself. I've done as much as I could with how the ladders and scaffolds are set up right now. So as far as putting up the, the OSB, so now I'm gonna to switch to uh, putting up tape and sealant or caulk or caulk, whatever you wanna call that. I've got, got two different types of tape. So this stuff they had at the local place. It's an acrylic tape and it works pretty, pretty awesome. It's really sticky and um, it's like a, I think it's made in Japan. But it's, just, it's a pretty good tape. Blue Skin Butyl Flash, just the four inch. And I've used a lot of the, oh, well, this is what I used on wrapping the outside of the windows and taping the windows. Super, super sticky. If I run out of the G-Tape, then I'll use this blue skin. Or if the G-Tape's not sticking as well as I would want, for whatever reason, then I'll switch to the butyl. Or I'll use a little both, I don't know. This stuff's a little bit thinner, the G-Tape's a little bit thinner. So, um, but it's got like a, it's like a woven, I don't know. I'll start playing with it and then I'll let you know what I think. As far as the cult goes, I've got it. I got it in my box with my sweater to keep it warm. It comes out of the gun a lot better when it's warm. The caulk I settled on, or sealant, they call it sealant. Um, I didn't want to just go with like a cheap, you know, acrylic caulk. For sh that would just dry out and it's gonna be, it's gonna be subjected to pretty close to the outside environment. So I wanted something exterior, but I didn't really want to go with like a silicone acrylic caulk just like your typical kind of uh, window or siding sealant. Because it just, I'm just not impressed with it compared to say like, uh, like the zip system uses like a liquid flashing membrane and it's like an elastomeric type compound and it's, you know, it's a lot better than just the siliconized latex caulk. So, I wanted something better than that too, but I didn't want to spend that much because that stuff is expensive. And with the amount I'm about to throw up there, it would be, you know, a thousand plus bucks, I'm sure. Instead, I found this stuff. It's called Master Seal. High performance polyurethane sealant. So I got a polyurethane sealant that's supposed to remain permanently flexible. Poly the properties of a polyurethane sealant uh, I think would work very well in this application. So I got a bunch, I got two boxes so far, so I got like 60 tubes of these. And I figured, I think I figured I'd need like at least 100 or something like that. But we'll see how far 60 goes and then I'll order as much, you know, I'll be able to better estimate how much more I need and I'll order some more. So first I'll tape, then I'll get busy with this stuff. Oh, and normally, uh, with most caulks, like the ex exterior here, I was able to tool it with my finger by using uh, soapy water. But this stuff specifically said, don't use water or soapy water, just tool it with a tool or your finger. So I'm just, I'm just going to use my gloves and just wipe it all over the place. So it might look a little ugly when I'm done, but it should do the job. Cut that corner pretty well. I'll come back and throw some caulk kind of here and there to make sure the tape stays put. When I come to corners like this, what I like to do is just kind of see where it is and 
and just go straight out at an angle in there. And I don't go all the way in the corner. I leave it a little bit so I can just push it just like that. That way you don't overcut. Take your time and just kind of go one surface at a time, one corner at a time. Some tedious stuff. I'll add a piece of tape there and I'll caulk the top. I've already done the back. I'm gonna tape this. I might as well tape these two. Okay. You see, you see all the work I did? You like it? Yeah, I do. My son, you just saw there, he uh, decided that I needed my hat this morning, so he marched it all the way out here. I forgot to mention that the reason I bought all these small little tubes of caulk instead of like the big ones or uh, like buy one of those, those sausages and a sausage gun is because I have this thing. And I should have bought this a long time ago but better late than never. But automatic caulking guns, if you've never used one, they're, they're pretty awesome. They just make it so easy. All of them, they're not just DeWalt. I just happen to, I happen to have all the DeWalt batteries, or even the generic DeWalt batteries, which work just fine, by the way. So this will make this uh, task of applying all this sealant no problem at all. The mask. Oh. Ouchy. We sore for the next few days because it's just going to be worse. I'm going to be wearing it every day. It's actually not that stinky. But I can still smell it, you know, it's like glue fumes a little bit or something. So this paint mask hopefully will take care of that, or at least help reduce the amount I'm breathing in. Back up all the scaffolding, move it on over to the uh, master bed, master bedroom. Over there I already ha I have the first row in and I just got to do the second row. That caulk, by the way. That's some, some good stuff, exactly what I wanted. But that stuff is, it's uh, so thick and sticky. It's not like a normal caulk, but it's perfect. It, like, it, I think it, it helps to retain its flexibility once it's cured. It takes a long time to fully cure and it should remain flexible. That's what I need it to do. It's gonna you know, have seasonal variation on it and that wood's gonna shrink and expand and so it needs to be able to shrink and expand too. Now it'll have the added benefit of having the spray foam sprayed all over it um, as like a added uh, air seal. But by and large, this caulk is gonna do the bulk of the job and ensure that the seal, the air seal we have lasts for a long, long time. This caulk I was buying at sight unseen and I never used this stuff before and it was a really good deal. That's why I got it. So I think it was like four, well, around $4 a tube, which for this type of sealant is pretty cheap. So when I finish the other side, I'll know exactly, I'll know better. See, if I use the whole box, then I'll probably end up using like 120 tubes. Be, you know, almost $500 in just sealant. Was the, uh, to get the zip sheeting, liquid flash. I think that's almost $20 too. So that would have been $2,000 just in caulk to seal just the ceiling. So I can live with 500, especially 
how important the job it's doing. Anyways, I've got I've got this caulk everywhere now. And it's just gonna get worse. Okay, uh, the rains are back. Moving them right along. And I'm just gonna probably throw in three more pieces and maybe I'll, I'll try to get the rest of the pieces in or at least get to the center bay. I don't know. I think that, yeah, we'll see. Just a few more pieces or whatever. You'll see tomorrow where I start. But yeah, and then I'll call it a day and uh, this will be ready to be taped and caulked, or at least close to it, and I'll pick it up tomorrow. Mm -hmm.